So it's uh, my building doesn't recycle the final frontier question mark. Um, here's the this is the official trailer for a longer um, hack night presentation. So I'm just going to give you some highlights. Uh, this is me. Uh, testifying in front of the uh, Health and Environmental Protection Committee in, uh, from City Council yesterday about my building doesn't recycle. So, Okay, for those of you who are not familiar, this is my building doesn't recycle, and it is an app that allows people in buildings with five units or more to report that their building management is not providing recycling. Okay, so June 22nd, 2016, this happened. Uh, Mayor Emanuel introduced a new revised recycling ordinance. Um, this is the first time it was changed uh, in 20 years, since like uh, 1993. And this partially came as a result of the, um, all the reports and my building doesn't recycle. So you may be asking, how did that happen? First thing of how that happened is, started is um, lots of research. So I didn't, when I think Eureka was talking about like not jumping to the solution right away, I really wanted to pinpoint the problem. And so it kinda, I think it actually takes a while to figure out the problem you want to solve. And, and from all the research I did, the problem I wanted to solve is the lack of enforcement of the ordinance. That seems like a tough problem because it's policy and like who's no, who knows if that will happen, but to me it was worth waiting for. Okay. Second, um, I had a singular mission. The mission was really to, um, to get the city to enforce the law. That was the ultimate goal. There weren't a lot of other extraneous goals in the way. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, let me uh, go a little faster. Okay, storytelling. <laughs> um, tell a story. So like there were, oh God. Okay, sorry about that. Um, it's a little awkward. Okay, so storytelling, like with comments on the site, you really told a story. It wasn't just the binary, like yes, recycling, no recycling. It was um, more like more nuanced to it. And there's a clear call to action. Oh gosh, okay, sorry. Um, so there's a clear call to action, which is like report your building for people on the site and then for policymakers, it's enforce the law. So there was, there was that. Okay, and last, no dead puppies, which is something I think a term maybe Derek coined, I'm not sure. Um, basically, I didn't give up on it when I didn't see movement the way I wanted. I mean, I thought there was media coverage, but I really stuck with it for a year and a half and kept talking about it. So I think that really helped because policy change is not a quick process. Um, tonight's call to action is, um, so they are debating the, or the ordinance in city council meeting tomorrow, I think 10 a.m. Wednesday. And so I think it's still important that people write to their aldermen. I made a sample letter. It's on the Chai Hack Night blog. Cause they still need to hear that people support it. They're kind of getting into a lot of stuff about, oh, the fines are so high and oh, we can't do this. So it would really help if you could support that and write your aldermen or call them if you'd like. And that is, I'll just leave that up there. Thank you and going back to this. Okay. <laughs>